I'm not going to tell you how many of you totally hurt yourself in studying. How many of you magic mark, highlight, whatever you call it, your textbooks? The little yellow, pink, green, glow-in-the-dark sort of things. How many of you use the markers? Those were invented in 65, the year I started college. So I bought one. I turned entire books ugly orange. And then I figured it out. If you color every page solid orange, you've actually highlighted nothing. Yeah, by highlighting everything, you've really highlighted zip. So I did the clever thing, and you guys are way ahead of me. What do you highlight, folks? The most important thing. When do you do it? When you first read the book, right, or the chapter. So you read through. Are you studying? No, I'm reading for the most important things. Zip, zip, zip. And some of you get out rulers to make it really neat. Take hours to make pretty little. Then you go back to the start of the chapter. You read the first thing you underlined, and you go, oh, I remember that. No, you don't. You recognize it. People are incredible at confusing recognition with recollection. Your visual recognition threshold is so great, you can see a person once, see them years later, and go, I know you. Were you a student at Pierce College? Yeah. Did you take psych? Yeah. From lob to, yeah, yeah. 36 years I run into that, okay? Proof of this, grab a magazine in your house that you haven't looked at for a while, leaf through it, you will get the illusion of remembering virtually every advertisement and article. But to prove that it's not recollection, it's actually recognition, before you turn to the next page, predict what's on it. There's no way you're going to be right. But as soon as you turn, you go, oh, I remember that. No, you don't. You recognize it. Now, going back to your book, you've highlighted the most important stuff. You now go back to study it, and you say, oh, I remember it. So do you study it? No. So what don't you learn? The most important part of the chapter. And then they come in the next day all ready for the quiz. Oh, I studied hard last night, Mr. Lobdell. Here's your quiz. I don't believe it. I can't remember a thing. How many of you have heard that? Those of you who teach, I could retire now if I had a buck for every one of those comments. I don't correct them. I shake my head and think, poor baby, you think you knew it. But in fact, you recognized it. You didn't know it. Now back to this active learning. How do you know you know it? If you can look at it, Go to the next one, read it, and then stop and go back to the one before. Look up in the sky and in your own words, say what that was about. Yeah, you know it. You will not forget it overnight unless you suffer a pretty major cerebral accident. 